Hi guys, today I will show you how we can determine L factor using ArcGIS ArcMap. So, as an alternative to slope length and the slope steepness factor can be estimated as a number parameter, that is, slope length and steepness factor uh, can be determined using uh, the equation in ArcMap. So, LS can be determined using this equation. So, in order to uh, determine LS, the most important uh, inputs are flow accumulation, cell size, and uh, here, uh, slopes uh, degree. These three uh, data are prominent. So you can retain these three informations from digital elevation model, which is the most vital data input for our uh, model. So the first step is to prepare digital elevation model. So in order to uh, compute this end factor, we need to prepare this digital elevation model and the watershed before uh, doing end factor. After you gather these two data types, you can uh, determine end factor. So the first step is to uh, prepare digital elevation model. So in order to prepare digital elevation model, to mask our study, we need to prepare digital elevation model by masking uh, using a watershed. When you say preparing digital elevation model, to mean we need to uh, fill voids and sinks in our digital elevation model. So we need to prepare in such a way. So we need to prepare digital elevation model by filling those uh, sinks. Preparing digital elevation model. So uh, go to our toolbox here. So here, spatial analysis tools. Open it. So there, there is an extraction. Extract by mask. We need to extract our digital vision model of our study area. So bootstrap uh, can be this raw digital vision model. This one. So input feature or uh, feature mask data can be a watershed. So select watershed. So uh, choose output. Your desktop can see. It. Here, map word. Okay. Mask. Leave the rest as it is. Okay. So uh, we have already masked our digital elevation model. So I no longer need this one, the first row digital elevation model. Remove it. This one is our study area digital vision model. This one. So uh, we need to prepare this the, uh, the mask digital vision model by filling uh, things possible things. So go to here hydraulic sections of these special analysis tools. There is a fill tool. So select and uh, open this one. Input surface raster. This is mask digital vision model. So select output location. So if uh, we fill this digital vision model, this is prepared digital vision model so open uh, here and uh, save then so here okay leave the uh, limit optional so okay so we have prepared our digital vision model by filling those things so so i no longer need this mask digital vision model remove this one the second step is just to prepare flow accumulation raster. So before we proceeding uh, on preparations for flow accumulation, we need to first do uh, fluoridation. So go to the same table. So choose fluoridation. In order to do prepare flow accumulation raster, first of all, we need to have a fluoridation raster. So we can generate flow accumulation from uh, fluoridation. So we need to do a fluoridation at first. So input surface raster can be digital vision model field or prepared. So output flow fluoridation raster can be saved. Give it a name and uh, this flow direction folder. Give it a name, direction, save. Give the result is optional, okay. Uh, now we can do a flow condition. Open this one. Drag and drop this flow uh, direction raster. So a condition raster can be saved in Give it a name. Create folder here, like mission. So, like accumulation, give it a name here, accumulation. Save. So, that type optional, if, if uh, both options as, as it is, press here, okay. After doing flow accumulation, I no longer need this variation. So, it is running here. It's uh, done. So, I have prepared flow accumulation raster. So I no longer need this flow duration raster. So right click and remove this one. 
The purpose is uh, to make ArcMap easier for work. It's, it, it won't be uh, busy, so you need to remove those unnecessary uh, layers. After preparing this flow condition raster, the next one is preparing slope map in degree. So go to Arc Toolbox. Now slope can be uh, obtained from specialized tools uh, and uh, here surface. Open it. There is a slope here. Double click to open it. Double click. So input raster is the digital animation module field. Output raster can be saved in a folder. So give it, prepare folder and give it a name. Here slope. Slope. The same. So it leaves the rest as it is optional. But here you need to be careful. Uh, output measurement should be. Uh, so the output measurement, you can, there, are, there are two options. The first option is percent uh, degree, the second option is percent right. So uh, what is required here is to do in degree. So select degree, so click OK. Slope process is done. So to accumulation a slope, vital one. So evaluation model already filled, to accumulation done, slope map done. So what I'm going to do here is just go to map algebra. This uh, special analysis tools. So go to map algebra, say uh, raster calculator. This is raster calculator. So I need to copy calculate this is LS factor using raster calculator. I need to copy this one in raster calculator. And here double click power. So power flow accumulation times seal size. Flow accumulation this one. Accumulation times times seal size seal size is our digital vision model. Okay. You can uh, obtain from digital vision model field. So properties here source. This is our digital vision model. Cell size. So select I zero of the two. Copy. Now I have already prepared. I have already uh, obtained this cell size. So I can do raster calculator. Divided by here as from the equation. Divided by twenty two point one three comma zero four. Zero point four. Now this is here again. Double click power. Now we can we can copy. This this one times sine of slope in degree here in place of this one. Slope in degree. This is one slope. Delete it. Double click. So we have, we have corrected in such a way. Make sure we have typed the equation correctly while you do uh, such kind of work. So I need to select uh, our, our output folder here. LS. Give it a name, LS factor. Save here. Now uh, click OK. So our raster computer computes our LS factor and LS uh, factor higher value is 30.2863 and lower value is 0. So uh, you need to be careful and you need to examine your LS factor because sometimes uh, a valid result may, ha may ap appear. So you need to be careful you need to examine your output individually for k factor, ls factor, r factor. For each factor of uh, universal Taylor's equation, the output, uh, output factor may not be uh, clearly uh, indicates your study area. So 
you need to be uh, careful while you, while you are doing uh, estimation for those factors. This is all, all about for today. Thank you very much.